Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Shopify API and also I will fix some of the common error you might get so far. I got some error while I was recording the video and I noticed well I have to create a separate video but I didn't create a separate video so in this video I'm going to fix all those errors you might and you might like 100% will get those errors and how you can fix them in the future also you will learn about um, APIs and how Shopify API is going to work so let's check our example up here like the story is working just fine let's focus on the GraphQL like API first then when you see the issue I'm going to fix it for you and how you might get the same issue in future so currently we have the app like this if you click on the configure it should hide the button for us and everything is working fine currently I don't need this one so that's why I can come to the dashboard and comment this out so I shouldn't get this pop up again for now just for testing also I'm going to create our another route here for testing so I will duplicate the setting and I will call it test so this is going to the test URL and it will be active so it, we do not need this one but it is going to send us to the test URL here now the thing is I have to create a route for this one also this is my route someone complained that my routes are not working unless I put them in a uh, auth middleware I don't know it is working for now at the time of this recording if for you it doesn't work watch this video and until the end and you will see why so let's check it out I will come to the shop like Laravel documentation and I will grab this group from the middleware and I'm going to group everything so I will delete everything this is my group middleware if you don't know what is middleware it is simply a wall around your app it means anyone who want access the store must have this uh, like middleware this middleware will protect your store against people who want access it if they do not have permission so I will remove it for uh, I'm not going to remove this one because I need this one and I will move this one also here for for this one since we have this parent middleware as a auth Shopify I don't have to specify for this one if I save it for now coming to my app everything should work fine check it out now if I go to the products customer setting and test if I go to the test it shows 404 because we don't have a route for this one so I'm going to create a route and if someone send a get, get request to the test I am going to call a function so currently this is anonymous function and this function is going to return some data from the API now let's check how the API is going to work before I continue if your product ha if your store have product how you can read the product via json like the json version of the product the order the customer this store has some product let me show you how you can do this one if i come to come to the orders these are all, of course like random orders so you cannot see like they are not true so if i come to the json like literally if you go to the url slash admin slash like order.json it will give you a nice json data for this one so currently i have a lot of orders it is showing a json version if yours is not showing nicely like this one because i have a json print fire and uh, i think this one yeah json formatter it is a chrome extension you can install and it will nicely uh, format your json data this is for orders and if i come here and say let's check it out customers.json also I'm not skipping any video as you know so many requests I got that I am speak is skipping like I am doing some of the thing behind the scene I'm not doing it I know the video will get longer if you are willing to learn something you have to watch all the videos so yeah this is for customers the same thing will happen for themes.json it is easy right it is going to list all the themes for me and anyone with the rule of main will be the active one if you check it out like this one have rule of unpublished this one is the main one which is the active theme so for now i am going to go back now you understand how the json version is going to work you might think well if you can access this url via json then if you have the json data you can definitely show that here right it is not going to work like that let me show you how imagine your app is running here you cannot send an ajax request to this url because your app is running inside an iframe an iframe will not have access to its parent that's why your app exists you have to send a request to your app in the backend 
your app is going to send the request to Shopify and then it will grab the data. Let's see how it works. Now you know we are in this 404 page which is the test page. But for now if I come here, if someone visit this test page, I'm going to return some data. Data is let's say a variable. But for now, let's say I'm going to say my data to see that if everything is working just fine. I will refresh the page. Now going to the test page, it says my data. And instead of my data, I'm going to print out the information of this store. Let's check it out how it works. Now I'm going to show you the documentation first. Everything is not written in the documentation of the Laravel shop file. So it is a little confusing for now, but if you want to contribute, feel free to contribute because you are part of it and you are going to, it will be beneficial for you in the future also. This is the usage section. So if I come back a little bit, this is the home page. You can click on the usage and here are some examples. For example, you want to access, access the current shop, you can use auth user. User in this instance means the current shop that the, the, the like you are logging it. So if I come here and say shop, it is going to give me all the information. Now it says auth is not defined because you have to import auth at the top. We haven't reached to the to the error handling for now. So just watch the video and you will see what errors you will get. For now, you know we have the shop. Let's return the shop and see if it works. It is a wearable and we are going to print that, that data here. I go to the test. As you can see, it print out all my data here. So it is about the current shop. So that's fine. Now it is not beautiful because it is reading it in this page, but you can definitely open your app in new tab. As you know, like you can say wish, yeah, wish list inspired the test. As you can see, it opens here. So if I come to the JSON version, it is going to give me this data here. Again, it is not nice because it is not a JSON data because of the URL. So it is fine for now, but at least I have a place to test my data. Here is the point. Now I can get those information, but according to the documentation, this is how I can access the shop information. Let's grab this one and I will come to store here. And according to them, this should work fine, right? If I return this data, it should return all the information about this store. Either it is shop or either it is teams, it should return those data. So the team will not have this information, it will have the body. But for now, if I come here and refresh the page here, let's see if it works. Going to the test, it gives me an error here. It took me a while to figure out the error. This happens 95% of the time. For any app I am building, I get error, but I never like leave it like this on thing. Oh, it is not working for me. I don't know what is wrong, but I always find a way. Why it is not working? I went to the documentation here and check out some of the common question asked in the GitHub repo here. The first one, like if I search for API and see the upgrade version, this is a new version here. But for me, like 11 years, 11 days ago, they have a new version of it. Now the thing is, if I come to the main page here you might get the same issue going to the release. This is version 12, right? Now let's check which version I am using currently. So if I open the package.json here, no, the composer.json here, this is version 11.3, which is lower version. So I'll paste the version 12 here. I will save it. Now in my terminal, I am going to say composer update. It is going to scan all my packages and it is going to update this one. This error that happened here is because of that. I didn't record video for a while now. That's why it is happening. Now the, the reason I'm not, I cannot upload the video currently on YouTube is because YouTube blocked me on the here. I cannot log into YouTube. Like if you check YouTube, I cannot log in here because of my email and that's why I cannot upload anything. So. That's something that happened to me and 40, I don't know, 48 hours, it should be fine. But for now, let's check it out. It is going to optimize everything. Yes, everything works fine. Now let's kill in everything and let's check out our app again. It is here. I didn't change anything. I just upgraded my package. Now refresh your page. You're in the test page. Now you see another error. So this error constantly happened, but all you have to do is you have to be aware. 
each of these errors are solvable so you can easily fix those errors so for now let's see how you can fix this error so if you check we are returning this data but we are not saying it should be a json if i check the documentation here they are using json encoded and then it is going to encode our data as a json and then it will return it so if i do the same thing coming back here now refresh your page you have your data here i know it is not nice because of the url one of the other thing you can do is you can say dot json what if someone come to let's say test.json so you can do the same thing if someone come to test.json you can show this data now still my app cannot read this data because it is not parsed correctly so that's why it is the issue with the chrome extension but this is the data you have currently here and it is going to be about the themes i have you might be wondering it was a lot before no this store does not have much themes it has only one theme i think currently so if i come here yeah this is the only debut theme that i have here and the role for this is also main so in the next video you will learn how you can modify the theme and how you can use more of the admin api and more about how you can use the developers here the documentation of shopify is a little bit confusing for beginner but i'm trying to uh, show you the easiest way to navigate around so in the next video i'm going to show you how you can use graphql and rest api and how everything is going to work i hope it has been informative thank you for watching